Well, it's a busy summer for athletes hoping to get to Paris. More than 400 will spend the next few weeks trying to qualify for the Games. Today in L.A.'s Lynette Romero, live in New York, where she caught up with some gymnasts looking to uh, vault their way to Paris in 2024. <laughs> Good evening, my friend. How is it in New York? Hello. It's fantastic and gorgeous. I mean, look at this. We're lighting up Times Square just for you guys, Colleen and Annabelle. If you guys weren't excited about the Olympics before now. I'm going to tell you, just wait. You can feel the energy here in New York City. There are a hundred athletes here, and you might think of them as kind of like hype men and hype women. They're getting us all ready for Paris 2024. Their first stop today was the Today Show. You might say the Paris 2024 Olympics came to Rockefeller Center. And the Today Show crowd on the plaza went wild. Good morning, good morning. We got a chance to go behind the scenes to see how Al, Hoda, Savannah, and the team are kicking off the countdown. Wednesday, 100 days to Paris. And then we got our chance to spend time with these stellar athletes. Oh, this is the fun part. This is what all the training uh, has been working towards. So now that we're finally here, it's, it's, it's definitely exciting. Some of these gymnasts on the verge of realizing their Olympic dreams. It's getting closer and, you know, I just go into the gym with the mindset of my gold. And others, like all-round gold medalist Suni Lee, hoping for a chance at a post-pandemic Olympic experience. And in Tokyo, it was, it was kind of like a sad vibe <laughs> because there was in a crowd, so we didn't have, like, the energy from the crowd. But it was still super fun. I mean, this time was just so different because there is a crowd and I kind of go off that energy, so I'm excited to hopefully get to experience that. To actually hug people, right? Yes. And touch people is exactly. amazing. Rhythmic gymnast Avita Grishjenis has been working for this since she was just four years old. I mean, I go to sleep envisioning what it's going to be like on that carpet or when I'm training, I'll try to envision like the entire stadium around me cheering or um, like I have a French ribbon music, what my dramatic ending is going to be like to make everyone feel those like heartstrings tugging. So I definitely have that going. And then you wake up exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Even the crowd here at Rockefeller Plaza is getting ready for this summer's games. Oh man, I'd love to go to Paris for the Olympics. I mean, that would be exhilarating. I wish I had the flexibility that they have. Um, I don't, but I love to watch them and celebrate. The uh, emotions that this brings to your, to your soul to see these types of people in our country representing the United States, it's, it's amazing. So, a thrill. A thrill indeed, I got to tell you guys, not only am I excited to meet all these amazing athletes, uh, Olympians and hopeful Olympians, but it was my first time on the Today Show Plaza, so I was fangirling at every turn to tell you the honest truth. Super excited to be here to uh, show this all to you. And coming up at 6 o'clock, Colleen and Annabelle, and but we're going to be talking with the CEO of Team uh, USA, and she had some really insightful things when you talk about security. She had some things to say about that, and she had some very interesting things to say about the handoff to LA 2028. You'll want to hear it. Back to you guys. Ooh. I know. <laughs> we'll stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right. By the way, you look pretty darn excited yourself out there. I know. Am I supposed to contain myself? I, I can't contain myself. Uh, no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, no, not I'll at try. all. <laughs> that is not in your personality. Lynette Romero reporting live for us from New York. Are you we excited, Colleen? Are you excited oh, with oh, me? Come on. You've been out here. You know. Come on. It's so exciting. And and you're right. <laughs> you've got the athletes. You've got the Today Show crew. Uh, come on. It just doesn't get any better. And of course yourself. It sure does. The trifecta there. <laughs> all right, I'll Lynette, see you guys in an you. hour. All right. We'll be here. And, of course, I want to remind you that Lynette will join us live from New York again tomorrow and Wednesday and in one hour. And she'll also be anchoring Today in L.A. live every morning from Paris this summer. Of course she's excited. NBC4's Lolita Lopez will be joining her as well. Opening ceremony countdown is on July 26th. That's right.